Hey guys, it is Wednesday here in the Philippines, so it is time for us to do our pre exclusive premium unboxing. And today we're taking a look at two wagons, so it's like a wagon Wednesday. These are the wagons we should have unboxed last week from Mini GT. Uh, this is Mini GT's first wagon casting and their first Audi casting, so it's kind of uh, two in one for us today. And we have it in Navarra blue and then one in Tango red. And the Tango red one is the carbon black edition, which has a different uh, wheel variant on it. Um, looks a little more sporty, and we'll go over that when we get to it. And we'll start with the lowest number first, um, number 186. And I'll show you both here at first so you have 186 and then you have 194 as you can see the wheels are slightly different on the tango red so let's go ahead and get 186 knocked out of the way so on the top of the box you have your collector number where to find mini gt online where to find them on facebook twitter and instagram and then here's the front of the box you have the picture of the actual die cast. This is not a one-to-one -one car. I'd like to point that out, even though it looks like it, because they do a fantastic job on representing the cars in 164th. Uh, has your name, Audi RS6, Avant, Navara, Blue, Metallic. The bottom side gives you your age restriction and your choking hazard warnings. This end cap has the RS6 emblem. And this end cap has your Mini GT emblem with scale 164. And then on the back side, you have your TSM model holographic sticker, your licensing, and then your UPC that points out this is the Audi RS6 Avant Navara Blue Metallic Left Hand Drive. So let's get him out and get a better look at this guy. And once again, these come to us here in these boxes wrapped in like a plastic cellophane. And the car is concealed, so if you actually want to see the car, you have to open it. It's not like the Miho clamshells. So, they come in this nice little plastic tray so they don't flop around inside the box which is a nice feature for storage and such and for shipping. So here we go. This is a very nicely detailed car. As always from Mini GT, the wheels are beautiful. They're pretty much spot on for the car. The blue metallic, it's pretty nice. Uh, I can't say like I'm a huge fan of the paint job. Um, those are just little pieces of dust there. Thought maybe chip, but no, no, it's not. So paint quality looks pretty good. You have all of your window trim detailed, your mirrors, and these mirrors are plastic, it feels like. So be very careful. They're not so durable, I would say. Uh, you have your silver rocker trim, your detailed Oh, that ain't really a marker light. That's like the wraparound tail lights. Uh, I was going to say marker lights, but that's not the case. Silver highlights on the bumper covers. And then, as I mentioned, these wheels are really nice looking. And spinning around to the front, you have your th four interlinked rings for Audi. You have acrylic headlight lenses. Nicely detailed mesh grill. Your RS6 emblem in the grill, which is a really nice detail that they got that in there. Your silver highlights in the air intakes in the front bumper cover. Silver highlighted front valence to kind of correspond with the silver highlighted side skirts on the rocker panels. And as you can see, left hand drive. I believe these are available in right-hand drive, too, but I don't recall, honestly, um, because I always opt for left-hand if it's available, and I don't even pay attention uh, if there's right-hand. 
Um, if I click on the left hand first, I kind of forget about it, but I think they're available in right hand, but don't quote me on that. Um, so here is the passenger side. Once again, nice detail, flawless blue metallic paint. The wheels are really nicely done. Then spinning around to the back, you have all of your emblems there and the RS6, the four interlinking rings, the red acrylic tail light lenses, your silver trimmed bumper cover with your chrome exhaust tips, detailed muffler, resonators, whatever you'd like to call it, semi-detailed chassis, and metal, metal as usual, pretty beefy and heavy casting, screwed together, which is nice in case you do want to wheel swap it, and rolls very nicely. This is a really, really nice rolling vehicle from Mini GT. I'm impressed with this one. Very nice quality, great quality control on it. Um, beautiful paint, beautiful rolling condition, just overall beautiful car. So moving along, this is number 194. And once again, where to find Mini GT online and in all the social media areas, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And then the front, actual picture of the 164, not a one-to-one -one vehicle. This is the Audi RS6 Avant Carbon Black Edition in Tango Red. I'm kind of guessing what it says because it's really hard to read that red font on the gray background. So on this side, you have your warning choking hazards and then you have your age restriction trying to get it to focus back in guys sorry about that don't know what's going on with the camera today there we go so uh then on this end cap once again the rs6 emblem and over here you're going to have the mini gt with scale 164 the back side has your upc the tsm holographic sticker and your licensing and this is the audi rs6 avant carbon black edition Tango Red left-hand drive. So, we've looked at every aspect of the box, so let's get him out and get a better look at him. Pretty much the same car, except you notice that all the trim now is done in, well, carbon black. The wheels are a little different. I think they may be the same wheel, just different, like, trim on them. But then again, it may be a different wheel. I think it is a different wheel. But anyways, um, and as you can see, all the window trim, rocker trim, all of that is done in black now instead of having the silver or chrome highlights. Even the mirrors are in black. And once again, they are like a, a rubberized plastic, something like that, I guess I would call it. So you do want to be careful with them because they are very stiff. They're not going to be so durable. Very nice looking red, this Tango Red. Spinning it around to the front, you have, once again, acrylic headlight lenses, and then you have your four rings, but they are blacked out in the grill. And I would say it's supposed to be that way, um, but not 100% sure if that's just a flaw. Let's spin it around to the back and look at the four rings here. Yeah, they're blacked out also, so that's going to be part of the option package. Black emblems. Wasn't sure if they forgot it with the silver detailing, but it doesn't look like it. So this is making sure that headlight lens is there because that headlight has a little bit more darkness behind it than this one does over here not sure why even on this one i think i noticed that too 
that it looks like behind the driver's side headlight it's a little darker than the passenger side headlight kind of like that on both of them so that must just be something to do with the way the headlights are but if you have it at an angle it is pretty brilliant and silver and bright but anyways you have your rs6 emblem which is still pretty transparent there uh and all the window trim had or in the windshield around the side windows is all black side skirts have the black trim front valence has the black trim rear bumper black trim even the exhaust tips are kind of blacked out red acrylic tail light lenses and you have your rs6 emblem there which is also blacked out back here um the rs6 whereas on the grill you can see it's still kind of silver but i think they did that so it's a little more transparent in the grill i guess but they didn't want the four rings to be so transparent so they blacked it out But pretty cool has the rs6 plate i didn't even notice that this one had a plate yeah it also has the rs6 plate so carbon black edition is pretty cool i think i like favor the chrome trim though actually to be honest with you i think that is going to be my overall favorite like the tango red better than the navara uh blue metallic but I think I like the chrome trim and the wheels on the Navara Blue better. Once again, metal on metal, screw down chassis. And then on this one, since the tips are done in black, well, the exhaust, mufflers, resonators are done in black. So, pretty cool casting. The next release coming up is in black, and it actually comes with a luggage carrier for the roof, like the Lamborghini Urus or whatever it's called. Um, that's one vehicle I have not picked up yet, which I may opt to get the blue one with the luggage rack as the Lamborghini SUV, just to have one. Um, I don't know, I just wasn't a fan of that casting. Now, these wagons I am a fan of. So I'm very glad to get these two, and I probably will opt for the black one with the luggage rack, luggage carrier, uh, whenever it is released. <clears throat> and then uh, that will probably be the end of it for me because I don't care if I get all the colors or not, but it's cool to have like your stock RS6 Avant and then the special carbon black edition. Then they have one with the uh, cargo carrier. Would be cool too. Um, so guys, this is about it for our Wagon Wednesday, the two latest first wagons from Mini GT and their first Audis also. Uh, so we will be back this weekend with a truck video. Uh, we're just going to be taking a look at some modern pickup trucks, uh, Ford, Chevy, Mopar, the big three. So we'll be taking a look at them and uh, just take probably 15 or 20 of them from my collection and put them out here for you guys to see. Uh, kind of doing a recap on them because we've unboxed all of them already in the past year and a half. So we'll just do a recap on our modern trucks and take a look at them over the weekend. Um, so guys, if you have any questions, suggestions, uh, please leave it in the comments and please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I left the icon here on the right for subscribing. I left an icon here on the left for another mini GT video. If you like this one, I'm sure you'll like this other one. So thanks for watching, guys, and please share the video. I will talk to you this weekend. Enjoy the rest of your week.